On the 23rd of June, it was International Women in Engineering Day. And uh, we just probably didn't celebrate or create awareness on that particular day. But today, we take a step towards that direction. And I have three beautiful women engineers in studio with me. They'll be telling us more about that and what it is that we do not know about um, why more women should be getting into the scene. Or rather, why women are not getting into that scene as much as they should. Welcome to the show, ladies. Thank, Thank you. You all so look nice. so gorgeous. You know when you think engineers, you know, and you what a good job, thick specs. You know, overalls goes in the kauka kauka, but you all look so fashionable, lipsticks on. Karibu ni sana. Kindly, let's start with you, introduce yourself to the people, and also tell us what kind of engineering you're doing. Okay, my name is Nancy Wahome. I am a civil engineer, a graduate engineer. Currently, I f formerly was working with Kura, but currently I started my own small company. Nice. I hope it will pick up with time. All the best. What company? This is it's where you name drop. <laughs> 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 this is where. <laughs> uh, the company's name is Civitech. Mm -hmm. Civitech. What does it do? It's a construction and materials company. Okay. Still a young baby, but we are coming up. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Happy for you. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Okay, well my name is Esther Gitari, a mechanical engineering technician, uh, currently working in one of a um, um, manufacturing company. Okay, yeah. how long have you been? Uh, okay, I have, I have been working there for the, for the last one year and a half. Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, so, my name is Yvonne Kendi, I'm a civil engineer, graduate, registered engineer. I am currently juggling a lot, I'm back in school doing mandarin i am um, then now working towards starting my masters this coming september and freelancing in the meantime okay. yes i realized both of you said graduate engineer and yes what does that mean kuna mwenye naweza kwa engineer but see graduate oh yeah, yeah for you to be a graduate you finished school been registered by the board ah yeah. okay yeah. the whole shebang yeah. yes okay you've gone through the first process of getting registered that's really nice and congratulations to all of you. Thank what you. does it take though? A couple of years ago, I talked to a chemical engineer, a lady, yeah. and she said when they got started, mm. first year main year, yeah. by the time they were done, there were like three chicks. Yeah. I know. <laughs> yeah. There were like three chicks and even after that, the other two got into other things. Yeah. I think for me, it didn't completely work this same exact way for us all the girls that joined from the first day the only ones who left have either just because they went to other countries to pursue something different but no one actually ever there's not a single girl in my class who ever dropped out who got discontinued mm -hmm. nothing and what was the um the ratio of you know boys versus oh. girls <laughs> oh, <okay. laughs> four or five is to one because I think in a class of about 150 students, yeah. there are about 25 girls only. Oh, okay. okay. Yeah. So it's already uh, at that yeah. point, you're already yeah. seeing. Yeah. yeah. Exactly. We are not choosing. And where, where, where are we told that we can't? I mean, where are we discouraged as girls to get into the scene of, you know, the sciences and engineering? Okay. I believe for me, it's the stereotype that has been there all along when you're growing up. We are told you're not supposed to do some certain things. Mm -hmm. Yet those things that you're doing are the ones that probably will give you a hint of what engineering is. Ah, uh, okay. So it starts okay, when we're told to choose our subjects. Exactly. Yeah. And then um, why physics? I'm engineering. Mm -hmm. Maybe you're jaribu nursing. <laughs> yeah. I know. You know, so at already yeah. at that point, yeah. or the conversations that we're having at home, already yeah. at that point, you're just like, your brother is being told you be an engineer, your sister yeah. will be a nurse. Exactly. Or because we like to talk, what a lawyer. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Okay, so, uh, but when we talk about, you know, um, being a civil engineer, yeah. what does that entail? Well, being a civil engineer, it is broad in its own way, and uh, it, I think it is one of the engineering uh, field that has a lot of things to offer. Because we we, we are in roads, <laughs> we are in water, mm -hmm. we're in structures, we're in public health. Project but for you to be a civil engineer and to come out and say I'm a civil engineer, it is a process on its own. Okay. Like you'll have to work, you have to have a mentor who is working with you. The board has to recognize you as the 
civil engineer, you need to be licensed. It is a work in progress. There is the five years you go to school and you get the degree, mm -hmm. then there is the work now. Okay, uh, yeah. to get Recogni recognized and registered. To be re yeah, recognized and registered, not as a civil engineer. Okay. Yeah. Even I can see you racking your brain on something. Do you <laughs> want to do? No, <laughs> no, I'm just thinking when she said the entire process, I'm like, it's so such a long, tedious process that okay. from the get-go that no one tells you about when you're joining first year. Because ah. when you join first year, all you know is I have five to six years of schooling because the strikes and everything right now you really don't know how long it's going to this is corona yeah. <laughs> this is corona see so now right now you're weighing five to six to seven years of schooling yeah. and then you finish halfway there is when you're told oh you'll finish then you have to get registered to be a graduate mm -hmm. engineer then work for three years and it has to be under a professional engineer who are very few in kenya which makes it harder for you to get registered now because it has to be under profession registered professional engineer okay then for three years then i'll get registered for that then if you want to go into consulting that's an entire pro different process but i have to reach pe yeah. then <laughs> go into consulting it's it like is a ladder. Years <laughs> of you not being registered studying <laughs> yeah. and just working towards yeah and that's all depending on the university you go to you might more. never get registered well, what do you mean yeah, like if your university, like certain university, are not accredited by the board, by the I engineers. I will not be told that when I'm in first year. No, no, you will not be told. You just be told you are working on it. You are trying to get accreditation. <laughs> yeah. Then and after five years, you realize ah, I can't be registered by the board because there are units you never did that are mandatory. Oh my goodness. Yeah. Just by listening Pekeake, Niko too wow 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 wow. <laughs> and I don't know, maybe I'll just throw it out to our audience out there. Is it something that you wanted to do? Are you studying engineering, whatever sort of engineering it is? And have you completed what are some of the struggles the challenges that you might have gone through if you're trying to get into the scene if you're trying to choose your subject to go high school i'm on a jaribu kuingia university and this is what you want to pursue if you have any questions whatsoever even regarding your grades please share your questions with us we have professionals in studio they will definitely be answering them for you triple one triple four triple one that is our sms line switch tv ke on instagram switch tv kenya on facebook now, getting into the scene already. Oh, we already talked about civil engineering, civil engineering, mechanical engineering. What does that entail? Okay, mechanical engineering is quite a broad field because we, uh, we have automotive, which is part of mechanical engineering. We have um, manufacturing engineering. We have, um, which is the other one? We have manufacturing, we have, we, okay. <laughs> yeah, we have automotive. <laughs> we have <laughs> <much culture. laughs> yeah. So it's a well it's it's a wide field. Like mm -hmm. for me I've only done the, the diploma part of it. So okay. I had to do plan. I had to spe specify from the from the from the lower part of it. So okay. I have done plant personally. But there's someone who is in mechanical field but doing Automotive engineering, structural engineering, yeah, it's wide. It's a very so do you, wide field. Uh, do you get guidance uh, at the beginning so that you know, considering it's that wide? Kuna mtu anakusaidia, anakuambia, hii na hii na manisha hivi, and this is what it will entail when you, ama you just choose? You just choose. Like, uh, like I remember when I was getting into the field, uh, there's much I could have changed that ah. I have realized right now. Okay. Yeah, there's much I could have changed. Maybe I wouldn't have gone for mechanical maybe I, I would have gone for civil or electrical but you've already done it so you so have you're already to in it yeah you have to deal with it okay yeah being you're st you've done the diploma bit of it yeah that means you probably will do a degree yeah I like uh, I, I have three more years remaining to do the degree so I did the diploma with three years okay if I have to go back to school I'll start from second year Ah, so at least to learn more, but to I know, right? And then after that, you have. Do you go through the registering as well as uh, mechanical mm -hmm. engineering, or is that just civil? Uh, no. Uh, once you're done with the degree, you know you can you can get registered r uh, into the engineering board or something. But uh, bef uh, for now, I can I can only be registered at IEK. What is that? 
Ah, acha jamani msinichekele. Institute of Engineers of Kenya. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. okay. Can only so, be registered there uh -huh. since I only have a diploma. Okay. Yeah. My goodness. I wonder what happens on the 23rd of June. I think this happens every year where we create awareness and have conversations. Yeah. And yeah. I don't know if it also happens in schools where you, now that you're already out here in the scene, you go back and, what is it called? A girl, the day of the girl of engineering or something. You know, where you just talk to girls and just... <laughs> And just encourage them or tell them why they should consider, not necessarily telling them, yeah. but I am an engineer and this is what it takes to be one. You could think about it. Yeah. yeah. Currently, yeah. how we all met is because we have a group on WhatsApp where we, most of us actually don't know each other. We just, we just share the same platform. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. No, we just join mm. them. We're just complaining how there's so many things we didn't know before. We yeah. started this journey, even as women, we had no clue. So the purpose of the group is to give other young girls insight that we didn't have before. Mm. Mm. Make it better for them. Yes, because yeah. there's so many things we wish we knew, we wish we would have changed. People yeah. wish they would have gone to a different field, okay. could have changed somewhere, different universities. So that is what you are doing, and I'm, I'm, I'm happy that we're having it on the show today yeah. because there's so many young people who tune in every morning, and this will definitely be a guide to them. Remember, just sending all your questions. Sort as look on us, if you want to get into the scene, if you're already in the scene, if you're struggling, when we get back, we'll talk about you know them being at the workplace now as women going head to head with other men who are probably when we thought when you think about engineering, West Manga, whatever. And that has, has to change. So we're going to come back to that conversation after this break. Welcome back to Full Circle with Mikali. A very good morning to you. I see your feedback on Facebook. That's Switch TV Kenya. Nora Mudusina says, Good morning, gorgeous. Yeah, it's positivity all the way. Ready for the show. Uh, Beatrice Njoki Wengeshi says, Good morning, Nicole. Locked all the way from Bangu area. I have already switched for good because Switch TV is the only TV that brings positive vibes. Masi Mdober, thank you so much for tuning in and for the positive vibes as well. Kafu Yakisumu, that is your name. <laughs> <laughs> Positivity keeps me going. It's gonna be fine after all. Tuned in from Kangema Baridi Ime Tumwa Huku. Peri Wadiongo, I see you. As ingenious, my big up, my sweet at Moses Mosamude. Mikali, William Schroeder, I see you. Good morning, Mikali, watching Full Circle from Londiani. Wow, Tuko Pamoja Sana. Charles Kafukafu is my morning karatina. Tuko Pamoja. Um, morning, uh, we are up and ready for the day and for the show. Get the right 45 fountain to go tuned in that is melanin jockey thank you for tuning in all the way from Meru, we have brian motedia kemaita i'm already uh, i'm already up and um looking forward to uh new week positive vibes watching from dogoto is essi and we have kageni malimali from chari charangita nyandarwa county took a well represented as antini sana for tuning in sending your questions we're talking to women engineers if you're getting into that scene, just be prepared for a couple of years in. But then again, what is happening on the show today is that they're telling us things they hoped that somebody had told them. And that is where they've taken the journey of creating awareness and making sure that it is better, easier, and, and more knowledgeable for the ones who are getting in the scene, especially the girls. Yeah. Now, getting into the scene, first of all, to Lishans, and a five is to one in terms yeah. of like the ratio right yeah, yeah. that is in school yeah. yeah and some of them in your class were leenda so mebaki so getting into the senior kazini already the number is also the same or even yeah. worse yeah is it difficult getting into the scene like now say for example let's start with you uh, away from being employed and now you're trying to get in pushing your muscle and your company into the scene is it difficult wow it is <laughs> first uh when i was working in the state corporate yeah there was like someone will always look down on you the fact that you're a woman you know when you're doing engineering you have this perspective oh you are an engineer a, a woman in engineering when you go there like jobs will be waiting for you 
because apparently men i mean the ratios the companies want these kind of ratios mm -hmm. but that is i think that is a lie they don't tell us the true thing like when you go there it's like you have equal opportunities okay and it is who knows who it is oh. not whether you are a woman or you are a man okay and uh for me to start this new thing it is a venture like i think maybe i can grow from it like the perspective of going out there and trying to get jobs but nothing they just lied to us telling us that we are women and we'll get employed because now because we are a special and touch. we are few <laughs> and uh, okay. we are inspiring and uh, all yeah. that they like to us. But you are us. inspiring. Uh, it depends from where you look at it. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay, uh, okay. From where you look at it but when it comes to you know at the end of the day you want to eat you want food on the make table. Money. Yeah. So it is for me th for for me I think it was it is hectic mm -hmm. and having to start this new thing it is capital intensive and you just I still and I'm sure I'll still go out there and look for a job. Yes. Because I also need the connections and all that. Okay. But it is it is not a walk in the park. For your own company, I'm going to get to all of you next, yeah. but for your own company now, uh, looking to employ, looking to create opportunities for other people, will you give the girl child more opportunities considering what you went through uh, trying to get into the scene or making your way, you know, up the ladder? Yes. Like, it, okay, I've done a lot of mentorship and working with someone and telling them, you don't have to become an engineer. And you if you go to the university and you really want to do engineering don't do engineering with the perspective of getting employed mm -hmm. or this is the best employer and they'll give, give you thousands hundreds of thousands and all that but i'll tell you just get the wings get what you're supposed to take go do what you love i love managing i love you know, like being in that position where I can help someone out yes. and having to struggle to get a job. If a girl knocks the door any day, any time, I'll give them the job. See, I told you you inspired me. Yeah. <laughs> I don't believe you. How is it for you? You know, getting into the scene, have you struggled to get a job or to consult anywhere just because you are a lady? Well, like she said, they lied to us. You know the notion of <laughs> 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 this day. Why? No, you know the notion of uh, after I finish school, companies are going are gonna be looking for me because I'm a female and we don't have so many females out there who, who have done engineering. Because yes. like now uh, we were like two in our class mm -hmm. and two. Yeah, two ladies. Yeah, in a class. How many other guys? In a class of 34, so... You that reach your at a high <laughs> 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 1 to 17. Wow. 1 to 17, yeah. Okay. So, um, you are, you'll always have the notion that once I finish school, I'm going to get a job immediately. Mm. But, uh, like she said, it's who you know. Okay. Yeah. Consulting is quite different. Is I'm it? not consulting, yeah. still, but... Um, for me, I think the biggest issue when you start working is trying to having to learn the boundaries that you have because in the aspect of you learn immediately when you start working how to learn you have to start being cordial with your workmates and everything but also have this boundary because it's very easy being the only among the few girls on site it's very easy for people to start crossing boundaries and yes. just starting yeah. to be very yeah. too comfortable too disrespectful mm. too comfortable mm. so you have to do it in a way that does not alienate the rest of your workmates okay but you're still comfortable at so work you're already cautious i just stepped in but i'm already putting up walls <laughs> yeah so you have to but you have to do it in a very nice way nice way <laughs> yeah so yeah. now I have to be nice. Yeah. I'm still putting up <laughs> yeah. my boundaries. My bond yeah. You have your boundaries. You have... But I'll say it's very... It's very interesting. For me, it's going to site, especially like for civil, I've worked at on a road site and a construction site. There's such a big stark difference between the two. Okay. And you learn... You learn... A you learn a lot about yourself. You learn a lot of self-control. You learn how to speak properly to people. You learn how it's not exactly being timid, but you you learn how to pick your battles. 
and be hard and be hard because if you keep picking your battles throughout at some point you just become a noise in the background like yeah yeah and then it doesn't help that you're female yes yeah. <laughs> Which is yeah. not true. Yeah. yeah. So there's yeah. the whole being told, oh, you're women, you should be more aggressive, but now you have to do it very tactfully. Mm. Now, in a in a way that makes doesn't make you seem like a bully, does not... You can actually close your own doors. You can actually make yourself unemployable. Okay. Which is very easy to do. Wow. And this is a very small industry. And it's especially with how we are very few females. It's yeah. very... We will end up knowing each other at the end of the day. It's very word of mouth. <laughs> if she's that's it. Yeah. yeah. You're difficult to yeah. work with. That's it. That's, that's it. it. Yeah, and and after eight years. Yeah. Okay. No, no, no. I think what she said. Yeah. I also think you're very careful on who you're talking to, especially, you know, men have the ego. Yeah. You go to site and maybe you find out, like, this is not how it's supposed to be. But the person who maybe decided that is how it's supposed to be, they have this ego they are holding so high. And because you're a woman, <laughs> nothing will happen. They won't change anything. <laughs> yeah. So you need to probably find a channel, yeah. maybe another male to tell the other male. <laughs> or do you, or you can, I don't Let know how to ignore. package PR it. Yeah. PR your message to them. <laughs> you need to be very careful. Just okay. as she has said, you need Which to be very tactical. Careful. Yeah, you have to, but I think the whole PR thing works with either gender because I think yeah. even for men they have to be very careful mm -hmm. in how you speak to someone else. Yeah. So, so even for us, you will put out your information out uh -huh. there because yeah. I can't I can't address all my bosses the same exact way. There's one who is more laid back. Yeah. There's one who is more uptight. There's mm -hmm. one who is more conservative. Mm -hmm. Then there's the egoistic. There's yeah. one who has an the ego. Yeah. There's one who you know you can even take a walk like when you, everyone is going home. The guys who very. I think it depends with who you're working with. You just have yeah, to yeah, learn yeah. your yeah. audience. Every other field. Yeah. Every yeah. field yeah. and every gender. Just learn your audience. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And I would also want to add on that. Okay. Um, there's a notion out there, and I believe it's true. Uh, being a female in this field, you have to work twice as hard as, a men, as the men are working. Because okay. you're trying to prove a point here mm -hmm. that I'm better. So uh, you'll find yourself working twice as much as they are working and you're not getting recognized for whatever you're doing because, mm -hmm. you know, you're female. Kuna maswali kwa SMS line yetu. You guys ready? So, hi Mwikali, it's Ian from Olkalao Nyandara. I'm already, I'm already in automotive engineering. They don't leave a question. Hi Mwikali, which engineering can I pursue with a D plus? Is there any? Plus. Okay, they can start from certificate, I believe. Or oh, certificate, then diploma, then degree. Yeah, exactly. That means it's going to take longer, but it's not a no no. Yeah. No. Okay. It's not, yeah. yeah. Okay. Okay. Um, Sasa <laughs> ona hizo miaka zote na mnataka tuku engineers. Hi, Mwikali, you look gorgeous as usual. Some can, uh, can someone start engineering at a certificate level and then proceed to the rest and what are the requirements? Na ni lena kutoka mwea kirinyaga. So tumesha sema certificate, it's, it's possible? Yeah. 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 From certificate, then diploma, diploma then, then degree. 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 Yeah. And then, so what, uh, for someone who's probably looking to see what are the requirements, like from the form four level? You need to have done yes, physics. Physics, physics is compulsary. Yeah. That's mm -hmm. that negotiable. A. <laughs> think not depending not really on where you're starting on your, on from where you're starting. with the level like certificate, okay. diploma, degree, uh, the requirements are very different. Okay. Yeah. But uh, physics ni lazima. Physics, yeah. maths, physics maths, and then English. English. Um, I think chemistry. Okay, um, I'll share my experience. Okay. okay, for me, I didn't do physics. You didn't? Yes. Uh, wow. So it was okay. hectic. <laughs> the, <next one. laughs> the first one year was terrible for me because mm. you go to class and you, s you see, okay, you're trying to catch up. With what well, is some physics? Exactly, because okay. the, the lecturer will assume that each and every person knows whatever they were taught back in high school. Oui. So you have to do research, you have to ask your friends to, you know, try and show you things around, yeah. But you managed? Yeah, I managed. So it's possible? It's possible. Wow. Yeah. Okay. 
hizo subjects mmesema nilifanya english as well na physics mathematics and stuff ilikuwa compulsory i'll just say um, hello kali i'm diana watching from tika i love the vibe in the studio since it's my field of study being discussed i have recently completed my diploma in civil this february and it's really a process since uh, even getting an internship internship for my diploma level is hectic and discouraging i've been turned down not once because i'm a lady people degrade the comp the competency of a lady in the field and i'd love to get in touch with the ladies for advice and motivation before they even get in touch with you directly <laughs> <laughs> where do people get internships to say dear to niwapi Okay, for uh, for me, uh, my first uh, attachment or internship, uh, I went to Nita. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, Ray exactly. Ray's. So I went there. Uh, you go there, you book an appointment, and after a few days, they'll give you a position. Okay. Yeah. So they give you a chance to give like three companies that you would wish to work in, and after after let, let's say they give you, let's say they tell you to come back after one week also and they will have find a uh, position for you. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Nita is, is the easiest. Yeah. Nita yeah. is the easiest. And it we have CAM, Kenya Association of Manufacturers. Okay. Yeah, th for the for they will help you find an internship. Okay. Yeah. Okay, great. Yeah. At least and then, then we'll we'll get there. Okay, please. Sorry, sorry. No, it's okay. <laughs> it's okay. As long as we're helping, we're good. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> and um what I wanted to say was okay, don't expect too much pay. Start with the with the smallest that you can get because out here we look the at, at first you're looking for the experience, experience. first yeah. and in that experience that's where you're going to get the the great pay that you looking ah, up to nilikuwa da kuuliza hiyo story ya pesa mimi tukamba tusome engineering tunaambiwa millions are waiting for us look do you know what the both of you did you all looked down you <laughs> <laughs> okay so i wouldn't get in there right now <laughs> i would say there's in actually there's money in it yes you just not everyone will you won't drive the v because you know they keep seeing vates and range rovers are for yeah. engineers yes. mm -hmm. you won't drive it in your 20s that's okay. let's just okay. very there are maybe one two people in your class will but majority if you put in the work yeah. and energy and everything you will because i think for most of us is was watching our lecturers just just looking at them it's like you know what we will get there as well yeah, <laughs> just sure. be yeah. Yeah, if yeah. You get there someday. <laughs> hello yeah. mikali and uh, the beautiful engineers I'm a form four lever and I've applied for both civil and mechanical engineering at JQ Art. I am feeling scared about this whole thing. So how can I join your WhatsApp group because I really need the guidance. Uh thank you for the insight. This is Juliet from Machakos. Okay, uh we I'm will the share the details. We will share the okay, details. Okay, so I'll make sure I get you the details before we are done with the show. Uh watching from Roy Ro big up to those powerful women. Big up um Yvonne Kendi, my friend daughter. Pengine wewe ni friend ya daughter wake. Clearly. Watching from Ruiro, no? Yeah. Hello girls, I am Mary. I would like to be a plant operator. How do I go about it or is it uh, or is it part of engineering? Of plant operation. That's like the bulldozers, bulldozers and all. I think yeah. that's part of plant engineering. Plant sio kwa kwa manufacturing or chem. Okay, and it's not civil. And it's not in my field. No, it's not civil. It's yeah. not civil. Okay. So, either the preparation is in the, the plants that are used for civil but for not civil. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the driving the bulldozers. Yeah, it's mechanical and engineering. It is more mechanical. Nickel. Okay. That's mechanical engineering. Yeah, and I think it I believe it's a shorter course. No, you have to do then. I don't yeah. know. Um I do not I, I I'm not that <laughs> I think the person can actually inquire with We can get them. We can get them the answers so we can uh, even our time is up so yeah. Yeah. that's oh. social <laughs> we can it? ask a we can ask a mechanical engineer <laughs> okay okay so how can people get in touch with you probably the whatsapp group or you directly um let's start with you okay people can get through me uh social media, social media yes. instagram where you home okay uh, on uh facebook where you home i have a blog my yeah. remote 21. <laughs> yeah, I blog, I'm a part-time blogger and a podcast host. Nice. I will blank with my remote. Okay. So okay. you can get me in all those platforms. <laughs> yeah. Great stuff. Yeah. Uh, okay. Uh, people can get me at Esther Shea. That's my Instagram account. Mm -hmm. uh, Facebook, Esther Shea again. 
Uh, I also recently, okay, I'm trying to start my own business. I'm trying to do furniture. Hey. It's okay. <laughs> furniture and time. stuff. So uh, I recently opened an Instagram account for it. Uh, Freshy Interiors. Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. okay. For me, uh, Twitter and I think Instagram should be King Candy. Mm -hmm. um, then Facebook and LinkedIn, mostly Actually, for most of this, just LinkedIn, Yvonne Candy. Yvonne Candy. Just Yvonne oh Candy, yeah. Great. Thank you, ladies. Thank, thank you for you. having it's us. It's beautiful. Thank you for uh, And thank us. you for giving us. Thank you for chance. having us. Maybe we should have you guys again. The questions are many. Do I make you and day one of these five days? It's okay. It's anytime. Okay. Okay. Anytime. It's okay. 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 <laughs> <laughs> thank you so much. If you're also looking to get into um, college to get further studies, well, Kipps Technical College is one of the largest neck examination centers in Kenya. It's a premier tertiary institution established and mandated to operate by the TVET authority. So when it comes to studying technical courses, no one beats Kipps College. They also offer high quality technical and professional training to all who aspire to acquire and improve schools, uh, their skills rather skills that are relevant to the job market or even if it's getting into the entrepreneurship scene well you are sorted because kips uh, has the ultra modern learning facilities highly qualified and experienced lecturers attachment leaders on office and a counseling office all this makes kip the preferred choice now july intake is ongoing for full-time evening and even online classes all you need to do is apply today and study with the best for more information you can visit uh, their campuses that is afia center campus for Philadelphia and Philadelphia Building and the Thika Road Campus, Mirema Roy Sambo and Greenspan Campus at Greenspan Mall. You can also call 0799031490 Kips Technical College, your sure path to success. We'll be right back after this break. Ascentini Sana.